بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay the next thing we'll try to understand something called sandbox this coordinate sandbox Now this Cisco DevNet sandbox is more like uh, on demand access for any Cisco device or technology or for developers for to develop the tools so you can compare this sandbox as a kind of virtual lab access which will be provided by the Cisco free of cost where you can uh, log in and access to those to those uh, sandboxes So let's try to understand a little bit um, on this. Like, take an example. If I'm a developer, uh, where I'm developing some kind of codes, or maybe I'm an uh, architect or the manager of a company, where I want to uh, install some new products and test and see how it works, or maybe I'm I'm just a beginner or a learner who wants to learn some kind of something like a DNA topic, or maybe I want to see. Uh, how i can uh, use some kind of automation software or automation tools to be deployed in your network how the codes are going to work probably you want to test those things now to do all these things basically what you require is you need to have some kind of hardware dedicated hardware and then of course you need to have some kind of license keys and also the network setup at the back end required so that you can test and verify and of course the devices uh involved in that particular network so more like a real time network is something what is required but again as a beginner as a learner or maybe as a developer i cannot test and test and do the things on the real production network so probably what you want to do is you need, you want to do some kind of testing before you actually deploy that in your network and see how that particular uh, code or or specific uh, applications how they exactly work and how they behave and before you actually integrate that in your network and that's what exactly the sandbox is going to provide you so the cisco devnet sandbox is going to provide you some kind of on demand access just like uh, you can say like a remote access racks on demand access for different cisco technology products like you can you can go with if you are doing some kind of data center automation you can go access to the cisco aci and if you want to access the cisco dna you can use that even if you are doing some kind of cloud or virtualized or security you can simulate or automate with a fire power device so there are plenty of uh, technologies you have you can explore those technologies and also you can integrate some kind of third party solutions and the development tools a uh, free of cost okay so so the devnet is going to offer somewhere around 60 plus uh, currently there are around 60 technology sandboxes now each uh, kind of virtual lab is referred as a sandbox so you can just compare the sandbox as a one kind of dedicated setup or one kind of dedicated lab which is ready for you where you can uh, schedule it and you can access remotely from your place So this is something available from the portal page. I will see that portal page as well. Apart from that, it also provides you some kind of training videos, as well as some kind of documentations, and even some links, blogs, and also there are some community forums where you can go and ask, where you can refer to them. Any you can refer to them if you are stuck anywhere. So or if you want to upgrade your skills, you can use those resources to to learn as well. Okay, so as I said, the sandboxes are used for developing a development of specific software or automation software, or even you can do test your APIs, probably uh, how they behave, or even you can configure a specific product, like as I said, Cisco ACI for data center automation, or wireless LAN controllers, or Cisco DNA, or any other product relating to that, where you can also use it for training purposes. for the remote access and also there is something called hackathons probably this is where the programmers involved in developing some uh, in kind of software development projects so it it is like a group of individuals uh, creating a functional software and and of course many more you can do so again as i said it is totally free and each sandbox is going to highlight a different cisco products like there are some categories you will see and depending upon the category 
let's say you want to do a data center automation and if you go to this category you will find the different automa data center automation options and the software tools and the different options available over there now you can use this url to visit the website developers.cisco.com site sandbox now you can see this is the url uh, from where you can go with and once you click on this URL, it is going to ask you the login information. So the different login options you will have. Normally, I'm already logged in here. Let me just quickly log out, log out and log in again. Okay, now this is how it looks for the first time when you click on this. So you need to say click get started with sandbox. So when you click on this, you can find the different options you can use for login. You can use any one of these options. You can use your Cisco ID or any other options. Probably all the options will work. So I'm using my Cisco ID here to log in. And of course, it will provide, uh, ask you for login credentials. You don't see the credentials in between here. But once you provide the proper credentials, now you will be able to log into this Cisco DevNet Sandbox option here.